Good morning. Today we will be discussing with the exercise of lesson 4. That is page number 238. In this, the first one is fill in the blanks with the correct answers. Now the high, highest mountain peak in the world is Mount Everest. The highest mountain peak in the, in the world is Mount Everest. The answer is Everest. Another name for Plato is Table Land. The answer for the second one is Table Land. The eastern coastal plain lie in the east. The eastern coastal plain lie in the east. Answer is east. The Thar Desert lies in the west. The Thar Desert lie in the west. The next one is true or false. Mussoorie is located along the eastern coastal plains. That is false. The second one is island group of India receive very little or no rainfall throughout the year. That is false. Now the Thar Desert covers parts of Rajasthan and the whole of Gujarat. That is true. India has many diverse landforms. That is also true. The Himalaya protects India from cold winds coming from the south. So that is also true. Okay. The so first one is false. The second one is also false. Third is true. Fourth is also true. And the fifth one is false. Fine. Now I am going to take other question answers. Okay. In this, the first one is why do people prefer to live in the northern place, plains? Why do people prefer to live in the northern plains? The answer is pre people uh, prefer to live uh, here because the plains are fertile and cultivation of crops is easier there. Also, plains are suitable for building towns and cities. For a uh, living, we need air, water uh, and food, like, okay. So, the food and the living problem is solved. So, the, uh, the place is good for, uh, means the pe uh, people prefer northern uh, plains because uh, their cultivation is, uh, the cultivation is easier. And the other thing is they can build uh, towns and cities also. Okay, the plains are suitable. So, the answer is people prefer to live here because the plains are fertile and cultivation of crops is easier. There also plains are suitable for building towns and cities. The next one is why are the Himalayas important to us? Himalayas are important to us because the snow melts and cre creates rivers like Ganga and Brahmaputra. They protect the cold winds blowing from the north. Okay, Himalayas are important to us because the snow melts and creates rivers like Ganga and Brahmaputra. We are getting the rivers, the uh, water from this uh, Himalayas. They also protect the cold wind blowing from the north. What is meant by a peninsula? A landform surrounded by oceans on three sides is called a peninsula. Peninsula is a landform which is covered. Uski tino taraf se pani se covered ho. Name the main east and west flowing rivers of the Plato region. The main east flowing rivers of Deccan are Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, and Mahanandi and while Narmada and Tapi are the main west flowing rivers. The east flowing rivers are Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri and Mahanandi and the uh, west one is Narmada and Tapi. Now I am going for the longer one. Why is the desert region of India thinly proper, uh, populated? Okay, the desert region of India is thinly populated because this area receives very little rainfall. Cultivation is therefore difficult and living conditions are harsh here. When we don't get sufficient water, so the, our living gets much more difficult. Okay, so these areas, they are, get, they are not getting proper rainfall. So, 
the population is less. The, the desert region of India is thinly populated because these areas receive very little rainfall. Cultivation is therefore difficult and living conditions are harsh, harsh here. The next one is why are the northern plains known as the bread basket of India? Why is it called the bread basket? The northern plain is known as the bread basket because it is for fertile owing to which cultivation of crops is easily practiced here. The cultivation is easily practiced that is why it is called the bread basket of India. The northern plain is known as the bread basket because it is fertile owing to which cultivation of crops is easily practiced here Malala, bahan pe cultivation the land is very fertile so cultivation uh, cultivation uh, is going on going better so people it is called the bread basket of india okay i have completed the lesson and uh, the new words is also pending i'm so sorry we'll just take the new words the first one is diversity Okay, the first word, first new word is diversity, D-I-V-E-R-S-I-T-Y. Then is Himalaya, H-I-M-A-L-A-Y-A-S. Then come Deccan Plato, D-E-C-C-A-N, P-L-A-T-E-A-U. Then come Thar Desert, T-H-A-R-D-E-S-E-R-T. Mountains, M O U N T A I N S. Then comes coastal plains, C O A S T A N P L A I N S. Then comes physical, P H Y S I C A L. Then comes Brahmaputra, B R A H M A P U T R A. Then comes irrigation, I R R I G A T I O N. Irrigation is I R R I G A T I O N. Then comes table land T A B L E L A N T. Then comes cultivation C U L T I V A T I O N. Then comes minerals M I N E R A L S. Then narrow N A R R O W. Populated P O P U L A T E D. Then it is deposits D E P O S I T S. Okay, I'm reading the words once again. It is diversity, Himalayas, Deccan Plateau, Thar Desert, Mountains, Coastal Plains, Physical, Brahmaputra, Irrigation, Table Land, Cultivation, Minerals, Narrow, Populated and Deposits. So, in this video, I've completed the new words, question, answer and the exercise in which you have to complete your new words and question answers in your notebook. Okay. Thank you.